Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and welcome to the ninth video in a series of game development tutorials on how to make your own first person shooter game in Unity. In this tutorial we'll be adding ammo collection. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload. Feel free to leave a comment and drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you could help be a part of this channel and you'll also find all the scripts and the assets to this series there too along with plenty of other things. You can also now join as a free member. And now on with the tutorial. So last time we had the ability to fire our gun when we hit zero we have nothing to fire so our gun just clicks. This time we're going to add in a couple of different assets uh, just to kind of build up the level a little bit uh, and have ammo collection. We'll do a little bit of coding as well to make sure it all comes into place. So first thing I want to do is import a couple of different assets and as always you can download these if you go to the pinned comment or the link in the description and you can get them for free. First thing, let's import an audio sample, which is going to be the audio file we're going to use to collect our ammo. Uh, let's also import the game object we're going to use for the ammo box. And let's also import the texture that we're going to use as like a crate that things are going to be hidden behind. Just remember, as always, that when you download this, it's in a zip file. So you just quickly need to unzip everything before you import it. So first things first, let's get an object in here that represents our ammo. And we can do that by going to game object, 3D object and cube. Let's move this cube into place, uh, probably somewhere maybe here at the back and down on the floor. We don't want it in the sky. That would be a bit silly. So somewhere around there, maybe uh, untick mesh renderer and make sure we tick down here is trigger. This is important for later on. Let's rename our object to be ammo box. And next thing we need to do is on objects, go to the ammo box that we just imported and drag and drop this box onto the ammo box. And if we double click it, it's huge. So we just need to shrink that down. So let's have this as 0 0.01, 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 on the X, Y and Z. Zoom in and how big is it? That looks small. I think it might do the trick. Uh, maybe we should increase the size a tiny bit. 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. How's that look? That looks fine. So at this point, make sure you have the box selected, not the ammo box, and just make sure that you align this with the ground. So the box, bring that down to the ground. And what you want to happen is you want to have pretty much all of the box surrounded by these green lines. What that means is that our ammo box is now inside the container that we're going to attach a script to to collect the ammo. So next thing, let's create the script that will allow us to collect that ammo. So let's go to our scripts folder and let's go into weapons and let's right click create a new script and let's call this um, pistol ammo collect and let's open that up in Visual Studio. Now what we're going to code here is a little bit different than what we've done previously. We're going to use a method known as on trigger enter and hopefully you'll have remembered just a couple of minutes ago we ticked something called is trigger and I've just said the word on trigger enter. So hopefully you can kind of understand what's going to happen here with this script. Either way, we need to declare a variable. And this variable is going to be the audio sound that we've just imported. So we can say serialize field and we will say audio source and we'll call this ammo collect semicolon. Right, so at this point, we've got all the annotations and we've got void update, void start. What I'm going to do is go to where void update is, to the close curly bracket, hit return twice, and then I'm going to type void on trigger enter. And remember, capitalization is important. It may default to say private void on trigger enter collider other. It doesn't need to be private, so we can get rid of the word private. We can keep collider other in there just for now. So what we want to happen is Whenever we collide with this object, so whenever the trigger enters it, we need to say, oh, let's play the ammo collect sound. So ammo collect dot play. And at that point, we then need to add to the global ammo. And remember that global ammo is called handgun ammo count. 
So what we'll say is right here, global ammo dot handgun ammo count plus equals and then whatever value you want it to be. So if you want it to be just one single bullet, then you would put one. If you want it to be 10, you'd put 10, 20 and so on. So I'm going to have it as 10 just for now. As it stands, we could stand on this object and we could infinitely pick up all of these things. Now, there is ways around this depending on what you want to do. Um, but there are two lines of code that aren't strictly necessary, but I would like to use them at this point because I want to kind of start introducing you to different prospects of coding. And I think this is a really good example of how we can do it. So we're going to use the idea of disabling a component, and we're also going to use the idea of destroying a game object. We're going to use both at the same time, uh, just so you can kind of see what happens. So what do I mean by all of that? Well, the first thing that we want to happen, whenever we trigger this particular object, we don't want to be able to trigger it again. And that's done if I go back into Unity and click on our ammo box. Remember when we ticked is trigger? Well, that was in the box collider component. That means that if we disable the box collider, we can't trigger this over and over and over. We can trigger it once and that is it. So if we go back to our script and we say, uh, so in the on trigger enter, this dot game object dot get component and you can see it's already kind of predicting what we're going to do but it's not quite right so after get component we put in the spiky brackets box collider and then open close bracket and you can already see it is predicting what we're going to do here so dot enabled equals false that means that we've turned off this collider, so we cannot play uh, this ammo collect again. We cannot add another 10. Immediately after we've had 10, we can say destroy, and in brackets, game object with lowercase g, uppercase o, semicolon. So what will happen here is we will enter this ammo box. We will turn off the box collider. We will play the ammo collect sound that we've imported, and then we will add 10 to our ammo count, and then we will destroy this game object, basically because we've collected it. The destroy game object line doesn't necessarily destroy it, it just removes it from the scene because it no longer needs to be there. So now let's get rid of the start and update methods and the annotations, because they don't need to be there. And let's save that script. Give it a moment to compile in Unity, shouldn't take too long. And when it's done, what we'll do is we will bring in that audio sound into our scene. So let's go to Empty Gun here. So play capsule, audio, effects, Empty Gun. Hold Control, press D. And we'll have this as Ammo Collect. And let's go to our effects folder. Drag and drop the Ammo Collect onto here. And then on the ammo box, we need to add the script that we've just written, which is um, this one onto there. And all we need to do is add that audio source right there. So ammo collect onto there. So what should happen now is that we should be able to go over to that ammo, collect it, hear the sound and add 10 to our count. So let's give that a go. Shouldn't take a second just to load up here. There we go. So we can still fire, awesome. Let's collect our ammo. There we go. And now we've got 18, so let's, let's fire, fire, fire. Awesome. So what I want to quickly test now is that if that still works, if we're at zero. So remember last time we could fire and then we couldn't when we hit zero. Let's do that again now. And then let's see what happens when we try collecting that ammo. So there we go. Can't collect it. We might need to increase some of the numbers on uh, our controller. But there we go. And we can fire again. And we should be able to hit zero. Perfect. So collecting ammo, all sorted. Next thing I want to do is add in, uh, just real quickly, um, like a crate um, thing that we imported before. Just start giving a bit of detail to our game. Uh, like areas that you can go into and pick up ammo and then we'll duplicate this ammo box a little more so we've got plenty of ammo to pick up.
Uh, so let's go to our textures, let's go to the crate, hold control, press D, and let's create a normal map from this. So rename it to crate 001 underscore N. And let's go to normal map, create it from grayscale, and click apply. Let's go to game object, 3D object, cube, and let's zero out the position, bring it into the scene. I'm going to have this as mm, fours, maybe too big. Let's have two by two by two. Have it back on the floor. Is it on the floor? No, let's put it on the floor. So it should be 1.5. And then let's drag and drop the crate texture. Let's click on it and let's just quickly add the normal map to it. Uh, so it's a bit of a bit of a level design, this bit, I think. Nice bit of level design. Slightly more metallic, less smooth. There we go. Let's just bring it into place somewhere over here. And I guess uh, like the idea of what I'm doing here is just a, a bit like a level design, but it's up to you how you want to kind of handle all of this. It really is up to you. I guess you don't necessarily need to do this bit, do you? Uh, but a little bit of rotation on the boxes there, you know, make them look a little bit less uniform, I guess. Is that the right word to use? Less uniform? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's all about level design, isn't it? Let's turn that like that. Okay, so there's there's some extra little bit of uh, stuff for our game. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is take this ammo crate, this ammo box, and let's just move over here as well. Uh, let's have two of them in the scene. So now let's just make sure that we can indeed collect both of these and we end up with 30 shots in our pistol. Well, we should end up with 28 now. So there's that one. This one's still here. Excellent. Cool. So everything is coming together very, very nicely now. Uh, next tutorial, what we'll do is we're going to play around a little bit with our player capsule and kind of make it speed up a little bit. It's very slow and cumbersome. Uh, and we're also going to work with something called ray casting, uh, which is basically some C-sharp coding, and it will tell us how far an object is away. And it will come very, very useful for interacting with objects and shooting, you know, enemies or whatever. Uh, so remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series. And I'll see you next time.